So you're actually gonna, I'm gonna look on that side because you can see I've got my screen over there to actually make sure that I went live when I went live. So RC Guy Garage here. This is kind of a COVID and coffee. Not really a, well, I mean, kind of it is a shop talk and wrench, but there's no wrench. Shop talk. And, and literally all this is is exactly what the description was. I, I've i talked to you guys a million times, probably, actually, probably about a million times, about a couple of people to watch if you want to learn, and this is only coming from me, a couple of people to watch if you want to learn how to try to film. Now, I'm not saying learn how to try to film from me at all. Don't, don't do what I do because what I do with my own computer is probably the backwards way of doing it, as some commenters have brought out. So anyways, whatever. Um, it works for me, and my videos are doing just fine. You know, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> but what I did is I did a sequence today. I'll jump into the chat real quick, but I did a sequence today. So I will be leaving once this is all edited. I'm basically just popping on, showing you how I edit. And what you're going to see is you're going to see a video that I – I am basically creating to upload before I leave. But it's also incorporated or potentially gets incorporated into other videos, if that makes sense. Like, kind of like, I guess they call it like uh, an opener, kind of. It, my way of being, or at least my way of, of having an opener or a, or a video of being an opener. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm just going to re... I still don't know how to refresh an iPad. How do I refresh an iPad? It's still not making sense. I don't I don't know how to refresh an iPad. I just really I don't, I don't know how to do it here. I'm on my videos. That doesn't work. It's as if I'm not live. Library. Library. Go to there, go to my channel. There we go. Video editing. Click on it. Nice. Got some ads on there. Don't forget to give the ads a watch. You're not gonna miss anything. And and I might make a few pennies, but um skip the ad. Let's see, live chat. RC Master, what's going on, guys? Scott, devil man, what's going on, man? Voodoo truck and send it, right? <laughs> I'm practically computer <laughs> literate, right, Bernard? Dude, yeah, I tell you right now, you are not the only one. I am definitely not computer literate either. I am that computer illiterate. But what I'm going to do now is I've got StreamYard going so that I could do that uh, screen share thing. Um, and this is going to be, this is actually between two different cameras that I used today. So I used my. My Note 8, which is this one right here, which now basically this has now become a dedicated uh, filming device. I also have my other Note 8, which I don't know what this device is going to be. And then I've got my new Note 9, which I've done some filming with. As a matter of fact, the beach footage that eventually you're going to see, the beach footage from the laser nut and the... Um, Tenacity DB Pro, uh, that was that was filmed with uh, three GoPros and a uh, Note 9. So, and I think the footage, it's going to be cut a lot, and that's why it's going to take me forever to do that, because I'm trying to make that more of a cinematic video. Uh, it basically just shows how well both the DB Pro and the Laser Nut handled the beach terrain and. I feel if you've got terrain that's like that, man, in the current configuration of those two vehicles, they absolutely love beach, sand, just ruts. I mean, yeah. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just get into uh, switching over here to this. So you can basically see my mug. And then obviously you'll be able to see um, the my editing, like the process that I go through and how like concentrated I semi get. What I should do is I should grab headphones. 
Well, maybe should I grab headphones? Nah, I mean, you know what? Maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. That way there's audio. But uh, you can see right here, I've actually got a little bit of footage. This is from a video. Uh, this was just the end of my last video or whatever it was. So that'll be from that. But what I'm doing is I'm, I'm adding all this junk in. So it's going to be like that, you know, chopped up kind of stuff. Um, I just got to figure out where I start and end here. So like even that, like that right there, that's a, that's a picture. I took that by accident. So that, that was a total mistake. Um, so what I do is right here, you can see this little pinwheel thing right here. It's doing its transcoding and analysis. Now, what I've realized is as I go through the footage, adding, subtracting, uh, maybe adding music or sound or, or whatever, um, you'll see like that little pinwheel changes. Uh, the pieces of pie get bigger, they get smaller, because what it does is it, it analyzes and transcodes each individual clip placed in the timeline. So I'm using a Mac, so this is actually what's called uh, Final Cut Pro, and I am no pro when it comes to Final Cut Pro. Uh, I'm going to have this thing over here just in case. You have a lot of pictures of your feet, right? Dude, again, you are not the only one. All right, so where do we go here? Wondering, would it be better if I just took myself out of this? Because then, then you'd actually be able to see more of the screen. So if I did that, that actually, that actually might be better, right? I think. Then you get to see more of the footage. I'm usually not keeping my car right in focus. Right, trying to trying to film and get footage. Right. So what this what this video is basically showing, right? So uh, what this video is showing, which is covering half of my face, which is pretty good. Literally, all this video is going to show. How many times I had to place the camera just to get this shot. And I talk about, like I said, Casey Neistat and Peter McKinnon. I always put, I normally put Peter McKinnon first, but Casey Neistat was first. I was watching Casey first to learn how to YouTube, actually. To be point blank, I was watching Casey Neistat to learn how to do YouTube. I'm not the greatest study, especially when it comes to all this stuff, because he's a He's a film guy, so. And then uh, Peter McKinnon, just, again, just phenomenal. I've watched his growth. I've been subscribed to him, I think, from since the, pretty much the beginning. And um, he's got millions of followers right now or subscribers. But anyway, so how do I start this? So I will, I'll jump out of here. So you're not looking at my face. We'll jump on this one. Maybe. Maybe I should just do this full screen one. I'm just happy I don't use film anymore. It doesn't cost anything to delete. De right. Right. Absolutely. Right. So I'm basically just going to show beginning to end. So we'll get this out of here. That's funny. You can't see the transcoding window. I didn't realize that. So there's a transcoding window that you can't see. It's a background task. So all you can see is literally this big, this big thing here. So I, this is the way I do it. Go into file, new project, and then I've got to title my project. So I'm not even sure what I'm going to title this. Maybe this could be like uh, uh, video editing camera placements or something. I, I just don't even know. Maybe one of you guys could figure out a good uh, title for this to be on YouTube. Video editing for YouTube. How many camera placements? Oops, didn't even spell it right.
how many cameras maybe? I don't know. Something like that. Maybe maybe somebody can come up with a better thing. So then obviously I will – now I've got to do this backwards, kind of. So I've got obviously that GoPro footage right here, right? So this was actually a mess up. So I can click that, and I should be able to move that to trash, I hope. And it can't because it's using it. That doesn't make any sense. All right, so I'll click this. I will drag maybe this to the timeline. And you can see what it does. You can see I recorded it in 4K, which is the 3840 by 61. Uh, yes, yeah, 61. 2160, that's my dyslexia, at 30 frames per second. So for that, I'll just click OK. I usually don't mess around with any of that junk. Uh, and then, so here's something that I'm trying. This is something brand new that I've never done before. So what I did, I may have to actually, because there's no talking in this. This is something new that I tried, and that's what you guys don't know. So let's see. Wow, I should have put a hat on. Did I put a hat on later? No, I didn't. See? I should have put a hat on. All right. So what is this? So I'll drag this into my timeline. And what I think I'll do is I'll swap these out. I'll put this as an overlay on top. A lot of times people are asking me how I charge my batteries or what camera or phone mount that I'm using. All right, so this, is, this was like an experiment. So now I'll put a fade. Times people are asking me how I charge my battery. Now, see what I may do. Like, if if I don't have a link for something, it's possible. Is take that, I'll cut it, slide it over here, so that you're literally not looking at my face. It should fade into this, and then I can slow it down a little bit, slow it down by like 50%, drag it into the fade so it slowly fades into that. I think. Maybe if I cross dissolve it, if it'll let me from an across dissolve, jump out of there. A lot of times people ask now if I can get rid of the volume for that, get rid of the volume for this. We're not going to need that. A lot of times people are asking me, so I don't like that clicking noise people are asking me how I charge my batteries or what camera or phone mount that I'm using. It's, it's not easy doing this, man. Sometimes people are asking me how I charge my batteries or what camera or phone mount that I'm using. So you can see right here, this is the style of mount that I use. So now what I can do is switch to this. Get rid of all this junk footage right here because this is junk. Slide that over. So you can see right here, this is the style of mount that I use. I use a combination of a bunch of things. Links are usually in the description below, showing exactly what kinds of equipment that I use and or products that I use. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to black this out for a second just to see what I look like. And usually, like, if, if I don't have a link for some... All right, so now I know I can cut that there. So I can cut that, bring that the bring that back to life, and I may change it out too. People are asking me how I charge my batteries or what camera or phone mount that I'm using. So you can see right here, this is the style of mount that I use. I use a combination of a bunch of things. Links are usually in the description below, showing exactly what kinds of equipment that I use and or products that I use. And usually, like if if I don't have a link for something. It's possibly because it's in its testing phases, but uh, this is uh, RC Guy Garage approved. And yes, this portion of the mount is actually made by me. It's All right, so now what I need to do is 
light that up because now I know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'll put a marker there. And that way I know of the mount. Is that so now I know what I'm looking for when I light this up. Now, this is the way I do it. So now I know I can bring this in. So I'll cut that, bring that out of there. I'll slide this over. This is uh, RC Guy Garage approved. And yes, this portion of the mount is actually made by me. It's one of the floater handles that comes stock with one of the session files. Now, see, I think I messed that up. Because <laughs> I think I was supposed to show a little bit more of that. And that's the other thing, too, is realizing that sometimes you don't get it like right especially when you're doing it this way because this was a definitely a different way of uh me doing it i've never I've never actually done it this way before so i think i already messed up all right so what i could do is i can take that maybe go like that Place that here, slide this over. This is, but uh, this is uh, RC Guy Garage approved. And yes, this portion. Oh, now see, I got to get rid of the volume. Guy Garage approved. And yes, this portion of the mount is actually made by me. It's one of the floater handles that comes stock. Now, see, I can buzz that back. Made by me. It's one of the floater handles that comes stock with one of the session fives, I think, that I had. And then I can jump that in. Fives, I think, that I had. And I drilled out the bottom, and now I can use it as an additional uh, stretched mount for the bottom of the camera. Now, I can then blade that. I'll make it go silent. For the bottom of the camera, or the bottom of the clamp, anyways. And then over here. So now I'll break that up, right? Because I don't need to. Bottom of the camera. So now I can just stop that, right? Because I know I'm going to switch. So this has also got that magnetic timeline thing, which makes things sometimes easier. I usually like to take this and just make sure. Now, see how that's attached? So I'm going to drag it over, click on that, get rid of it. Uh, stretched mount for the bottom of the camera and then over here you can see this is now now i know what i'm talking about i think what probably would be best is for me to like scrub into this timeline instead of having this footage added but that's like that's like sometimes how i end up doing things is like i said it's it's not always going to be the right way uh, this is just literally how i do it and why it takes like sometimes I don't know, 10 hours for uh, 10 hours for me to do like a video. And as short as how this video is going to be, when you finally watch it, it's just like, is it really worth the time doing something like this? And I have to say yes. At some point, at some point, you do have to sit your butt down. And yeah, here we go. I should do this. At some point, you do have to sit your butt down in a chair or stand, whatever. I've got this so that I can stand and sit. Um, and you're going to have to take the time to edit, to always push yourself. When you watch videos, why are you watching videos? What's attracting you? Uh, and then you also have to take into account what people say, meaning... You don't always listen to what everybody says only because you got wise guys out there that just want to try to give you a hard time and, you know, tell you that you talk too much. Whatever. Um, and, and, and that's my attitude right now. Just, dude, change the channel. Go somewhere else. Because this seems to be working for me. Um, the whole point is for me to have a smile on my face and hopefully you guys, the same thing. I, I don't need to keep this like on myself. I'll jump it to there or jump it to there. That way you got like a small little thing of my mug right there. But uh, the whole thing is all I'm doing with this is just showing you my like never ending process of hours 
of trying to create footage for only like, I don't know, 15 minutes of something that people want to watch. And even then people might only watch like three minutes of what I created that took me hours. So I'm just going to dive back into it before I get too lost. Bottom of the camera. And then over here you can see that now what I probably should do is take this whole clip and just dump it. And then I can I can jump into here and you know take little pieces and parts out of it. And then over here you can see this is where I've got my battery set up. No. Nope. You can see this is where I've got my Now where you here you can see Now where I say you can see See all of this is all silent. I didn't I literally didn't even talk because I was trying something different. So now what I'll do I'll see if this even works. And then over here you can see this is where I've got my battery set up. No, we are definitely not charging in the house, but what I will show you is I'll show you the differences between the two cells. So as you can see on this one right here, you can see what now, see, look at that. Now, that actually wasn't too bad. Two cells. So as you can see on this one right here, you can see what. Now, see, I'll, I'll bring that out, drag it out. So as you can see on this one right here, you can see what we're charging. Dude, I ain't got enough money for no mullet yet. You kidding me? <laughs> I got to pay my wife to give me a mullet. So, yeah, it'll be coming, but. <laughs> when I when I approached my wife again about the mullet, she was just like, "You're not really serious, are you?" I'm like, "Honey, I'm like, I, I, hair will grow back." You know what I mean? I don't know. She's she's on board with it, which is kind of funny. It is kind of funny, but no. Um, before I get this mullet, there's gonna have to be a little bit more on the donation. <laughs> level before I put her because dude I gotta put her through that that means she's gotta look at me that means all my clients and customers have to look at me with a mullet granted I could take my hat I could take my hat and do the hat thing you know cover the fact that I've got a mullet but with the type of work I do you know I mean yeah kind of have to take into account kind of a little bit what you look like you know what I mean it's kind of like Dude, if I showed up looking like, you know, if I showed up looking like my tracks is X Max, if I showed up wearing a trash bag and you know what I mean, it doesn't really show too well. So even I actually know too, I actually know what mullet that I'm going with, or at least a style that I am going with, which is kind of a combination of my short haircut that I've already had in the past. And then, you know. What do they say? Business of front, party in the back. We'll keep it. We'll keep it just like that. Haven't figured out how the sides are going to be yet. Right, it's not going to be shaved right to skin, but I don't know if it's going to be like a number one, a number two, or if my wife is going to like do some kind of a a fade. She may try to like do some kind of a fadeish kind of thing. But all this, all this top stuff here, that'll all be short. It'll be like my regular short. I call it my like uh, spring or summer cut, but I never ended up. I didn't end up doing it this year, just because. I usually, I usually let my hair grow out anyway. Every once in a while, I don't know why. It's just, it's just a change. So but let's let's get off mullet mullet subject here. And then over here, you can see this is where I've got my battery set up. No, we are definitely not charging in the house. But what I will show you is I'll show you the differences between the two cells. So as you can see on this one right here. Now, see, I should bump up the sound on this because I am showing the charger. Well, here you can see this is where. Now, I can actually fade that. So I can throw. And here's what's funny. When you throw, actually, I can fade up the volume. You can see this is where I've got my battery there we go. set up. No, we are definitely not charging in the house. Now, I think I will have to lower the volume. Because it sounds too overbearing. And then over here, you can see this is where I've got my battery set up. No, we are definitely not charging in the house. But what I will show you is I'll show you the differences between the two cells. So as you can see on this one right here, you can see what we're charging at. 
They're almost topped off. This is a six cell pack, and they're charging at, you can see. The now, now, wait a minute. <laughs> now, see, that's a different part. Almost topped off. This is a six cell pack. Now, I can chop that because now I realize that I don't even know if I, because <laughs> basically it shows how I'm charging this battery, which I'm not charging in the house. You don't charge lipo batteries in the house, all right? Here's, we're not in the house. This is this is outside. <laughs> but you can see clearly right here that I'm using uh, alligator clips <laughs> to uh, hook up into a battery. We're almost topped off. This is a six cell pack. And now what I should do is I think I need to fade out the volume. Cell pack. Topped off. This is a six cell pack. And then what I'll do is I'll blade that, bring it below in the timeline. That way the audio, I could like. You could do a number of things. You can actually split the clip so that you have a separate audio and a separate, you know, video. But sometimes I like to keep stuff together. That way I can take it and I can basically just drag it below, which basically makes the video silent, but the audio stays, if that makes any sense. So you'll still hear the fan going in the background. This is a six cell pack and and I can fade that right out. Six cell pack, and we're charging at. You can see. Now, I said you could see, but that's actually in a separate section here. I think. Now, see. Now I can take this, and hopefully, hopefully I did enough on that. So this, I'll just take and just drag below just to like put it below, just so I can keep it in my timeline. But then I'll take this cl uh, clip that I just cut and I'll drag this in here somewhere. And, and also uh, the volume. So the volume on this one. All right, so I gotta say something right now. So this actually is what I thought was happening. So, Earl Moorhead actually, um, where did the, where did the things go? I just got notifications today. Notifications. You can't see the notifications, but I just got a couple of, um, notifications about a couple of videos. You might want to go to go watch innovation RC and maybe even that Roz guy. I forget what his uh, name is. Well, I don't even know where, where Chrome is showing up now. So where is Chrome? So if I go here, go to YouTube. Are you guys seeing YouTube? No, you're not, are you? Oh, it's an XLX2. Oh, man. You watched it. No, stop. Ah, video will play after the ads. Dang it. All right, well, whatever. All right, anyways, the guy, uh, Roz Schiffen, Schiffen, whatever, uh, there is now an XLX2 out which and i'm going to tell you right now earl moorhead actually called it so um we were having a, a talk between each other i got actually i gotta i gotta tell him right now i actually gotta give him a call he might actually be at work Uh, is it going to connect? There we go. Oh. 
Right, Jessica, it's an XLX2. Roz, Roz uh, Schiffen or Schiffen, whatever his name is. He actually might not be able to answer. Yeah. Well, anyways, um, Earl was actually telling me, <laughs> he was actually telling me to go live and talk about it, but what I don't like doing is I don't like taking somebody else's information and like trying to use it as my own. I'm just gonna make myself big right now. Um, so Innovation RC put out a little teaser video last night or yesterday. Uh, something big was coming today. And basically what it is is Castle Creations has come out with an XLX2. Uh, Roz, I, I, I got to look up what his name is. His name is, it's a Castle Creations Mamba XLX2. And his name is Roz Schifrin. So I said Schifrin, but it's Schif, Schifrin, S H. I F R I N. Uh, and also innovation, which I don't know where innovations is, but uh, he literally just put this up like minutes ago, I think. And I don't know if he's got the I don't know if he's got the video or not, but uh, innovation. Where is innovation? Innovation, I think RC. I don't know why it's not showing up on my thing. Right, so he did it tomorrow. So he should be having another one today. Videos. Yeah, so, yeah. So there you go. It's an XLX2. But he doesn't have his video up yet. So, anyways, but like what I was what I was getting on was um, Earl was basically telling me that I should go live to talk about the fact that um, what he discovered. And I'm not that type of person where I'm not going to take somebody else's information and kind of like act as if it's my own or, or whatever. And and probably what I should have done is just did a live stream with Earl last night and. That's why I'm saying if you haven't subscribed to Earl's channel, you got to subscribe to his channel because he is very much on point on things. And there's a bunch of reasons why if you get to know Earl, you'll you'll understand why Earl is so with it with a certain amount of things. Um, he pays attention a lot. He's kind of a semi-quiet individual, but he just knows things. And once you get to know him, you start to understand why he gets, why he knows things. Um, but he, anyways, he was trying to get me to go on just to basically talk about his discovery and what had happened. And I'll, I'll, I'll let him like talk about it. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll talk about it in a video that he's got coming up or something, but he was doing a build and he ordered a system. The system was supposed to ship and it, and it like said that it shipped. But then all of a sudden, I think when he checked like a day or two later, it said that it didn't ship and which kind of like pinged his curiosity. So he started jumping online trying to find the original XLX. And even when he went on the castle website, it was it was no longer available. So we were kind of like bouncing things back and forth and the joke between he and I has been, you know, when's going to, when is it going to be the next real 12 S system? Because obviously hobby link, uh, yeah, hobby link, hobby, hobby wing doesn't have one. There is that other 12 S system, but that thing just catches on fire. So, so you don't want that thing. Obviously, you know, uh, Kevin Talbot did a video and well, his first rip with it, the thing already died, so you don't want to be going with those speed controllers, obviously, until they figure out what's going on. There's a couple other guys that have done videos with those, but uh, something's just not right. Um, but when you have a company like Castle, Castle is number one. 
I and and I'll I'll say that as an opinion of Earl and an opinion of myself. Castles number one. I have literally bought three uh, of those castle creation systems now, and finally, finally, something came in the mail that was like supposed to have come in two months ago. And then I got one of these yesterday, and then I got another one today, and it was it's basically the Castle Link, which, depending upon what motor you're using, and definitely if you're censored, if you're censored, you got to have the Link because you throw your motor in, you could be reversed, and you can't just pull a wire out and reverse it. You have to pull the sensor, and then you're basically using it censored list. And that was one of the reasons why I have not started my build on my uh, my limitless. So now that I have parts and stuff and things, things are like there's another thing that came in today, which I don't know where that box is. That box must still be upstairs. But another box came in today, uh, another radio. So and this is going to be the radio that I'm choosing to use with my limitless for a very specific reason, recommended by Earl Moorhead and you know, he uses Futaba, and I am not going to step or jump into the $350-plus game uh, when you don't have to. And that, that, was basically his, that was basically his point. He was like, you know, yeah, the Futaba is great because you can put, you know, 500 cars on it, but, yeah, you don't really need it. I mean, unless you're going to run – you know, 20 different models or however many models that this radio holds that he has, he goes, you don't need it. You don't need the capabilities that this thing has. You basically just want a speed rip. This is, this is the, this is the remote you want. Uh, the range is incredible. Uh, everybody probably already knows what it is. Uh, but I'm just going to do a what's in the box at some point, uh, and see what's in it. So I'll probably only use it for my limitless. It'll basically be just for that. But um, I wanted something separate. But anyways, Earl Moorhead, point blank, possibly did call it uh, from what I think I'm seeing. Innovation still doesn't have anything up yet. But uh, the Roz guy does. So YouTube, Roz, where is it? Roz. Yep. And he's got a speed with it already, too. Now, see, that's where innovation should be jumping on this. Yeah, 13 minutes ago was when he uploaded this video. XLX2. So, might want to go check that guy, Raz. Uh, Schifrin. Schifrin. But anyways, I'm going to jump out of here, stop talking. Go back to doing, you know, what I was doing. But by all means, go check out those videos. You don't watch Talbot anymore? Yeah, I mean, that's that's by choice. That's fine. I still watch his videos. Not all of them, but I watch them. All right, here's something I just caught myself doing. Has anybody been on a computer and either had a phone or a tablet, like, open? I literally just tried using my mouse to go to my tablet to make it scroll. That's me. All right. Can't believe I just did that. I just did it again. Ah. Oh, all right. Where am I? I gotta get back to editing. That's what this is supposed to be about. Supposed to go speed ripping today. Pack and we're charging at. You can see. So I need to <laughs> see what the volume is. The volume's negative five, so I can jump over there and I can go. Negative five just to match the volume. The amps that are right there. All of my amp ratings, or whatever you want to call it, for my batteries, uh, when I charge them, everything is set to the max of 10 amps. Why 10 amps? Because. All right, so. Of 10 amps. So now I can cut that, blade that, and I'll make it silent. 
is set to the max of 10 amps. Why 10 amps? Because this battery charger right here, now I can then activate it again. Set to the max of 10 amps. Why 10 amps? Because this battery charger right here seems to have a tendency to only charge the batteries per what the batteries desire, if that makes any sense. So it works for me. I've been doing it for a couple years now, and with these chargers, I have had zero issues whatsoever. Well, actually, that's not true. I did have one balance board go out, but that was as simple as calling the company, and they sent me one right away. Uh, but I ended up taking it apart and fixing it anyway, just because it's just the way I roll. So anyways, now, see, I'm just going to end that. That was as simple as calling the company and they sent me one right away. Uh, but I ended up taking it apart and fixing it anyway, just because it's just the way I roll. Now I'm going to end that right there because it doesn't seem to make sense to keep talking. So I'll just end that right there. Big rock came out here today too, but they are gone already. Right. I'm not liking Horizon Hobby, man. It's starting to tick me off. So then there's another clip right here. I have no idea what this is. No, this is definitely not the uh, desired way of charging. Oh, there we go. All right. So yeah, this is that part where I did add in a – oops. Cancel. So I added actually this clip uh, after the fact, and that is for – I think this part, this part where I show <laughs> how you're not supposed to do something. I ended up taking it apart and fixing it anyway, just because it's just the way I roll. And no, this is definitely. All right. So now because I clipped it, right? Or I cut it. So I blade that, get rid of that, drag this over. Uh, but I ended up taking it apart and fixing it anyway, just because it's just the way I roll. And no, this is definitely not the uh, desired way of. Now I can lengthen that out. The way I roll. And no, this is definitely not the uh, desired way of charging a pack, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And then I can just end that right there, cut that out. You do what you gotta do. And remember, number one, lipo safety. Do not charge your packs inside the hole. That's it. And that's how I end that, right? So you see, literally, granted, we did talk about other stuff, but still, I mean, yeah. People are asking me how I charge. Yeah, see, I got to check text messages, too. Now, I'm sorry for not paying, Jessica. Yes. LOL could tell that. Yeah, Horizon Hobby's pissing me off. <laughs> if that's what you're talking about. <coughs> uh, Earl Moorhead just did a good video between the Big Rock 2 and version 3. And good video. He got his daughter out there. They were both ripping it. And number one, they both had a blast. So, And he's not really noticing any major difference other than maybe it tips over less. Maybe, but that's probably driver experience. Uh, and then the controller, I think he it's a cheap controller. Come on. It's a, it's a, it's a lesser expensive RC. Of course it's going to be a cheap controller or a cheaper controller. And then... Uh, what else did he say? But he did like the controller better. I believe the version 2 that he's got is slow as far as the response time on the on the steering. He says it's really slow, hard to recover, or it's easier to recover, I think, on the Big Rock version 3. Uh, because what is that? That's the... Uh, the heck remote is that? Forget what company it is. It's the company that they used to use. I got slipping my mind right now. But uh yeah, I don't know. I should just keep editing. Yeah, just about. 
top end on V3 uh, is less than V. Right. He also did mention that too, right? Because I don't know if it's the gear. I don't know if the gearing is the same. Because they might be doing a couple of things to lessen the overheat issue that they were having before. Number one, a fan. But Earl's Earl's kind of I think thought on the fan was that I think the fan he wasn't overly impressed with the airflow. So. All right, let's see. So what I am going to do. And I can go to here, go to there. Go to there. Go to there. Go to there. And bam. And then jump out of that. Go to there. All right. So that's where I'm going to end that. And then what I'm going to do is now I have footage of basically well kind of big black i switch over and remember number one now see i'm gonna bring that out i'm gonna fade the volume down and no this is definitely not the uh desired way of charging a pack but you gotta do what you gotta do and remember number one lipo safety do not charge your packs inside the home <laughs> do not charge your packs inside the home it's very bad. So now I'm going to add in GoPro footage. Do not charge your packs inside the hole. <laughs> Why not, right? You get to see my kitchen. You get to see my, my daughter made me something to eat, which is very nice of her. Get to see my puppy. Then you get to see right here, right? Right there, that was my screenshot. So what I did is in this, so this screenshot right here was what the thumbnail was for this video. You know what I mean? Like, dude, it's so, it can become so confusing for someone like me. All right. Basically just going to take the, uh, Two batteries right now. I'm gonna take my remote control. We're gonna bring them outside. That's not even a remote and control guy. I'm also going to bring the other two GoPros as well as that device too. Uh, you can definitely see we do not have the charger charging in the house. It's just sitting there plugged in, looking pretty. <coughs> so sitting there plugged in, looking pretty. Come on, Daisy. I'm coming. Haley. You get to see the puppies just All of rifle out of the house. So the one that's got the red pull tab on it, that was designed for when it used to go. Now, I'm going to show you something. Now, see how, see where I just stopped it? The reason why I'm going to stop it right there is because this is where that part of how many cameras and how many placements did I use is going to start. So I'm going to put a marker there, which is an M. See how it leaves like a little blue? See how it leaves like a little blue thing right there? A little blue thing right there? So now I know that once I got to that point, I can actually add in some of my other footage, which it's not there. It's right here. This is this is what's so nuts. How many times I placed this camera? So what I'll do is all right. So I'll go to the marker uh, into my UDR. I needed a way to be able to tear out the pack. Oh, now Daisy's there. So. 
All right, so I don't know if that how well that's gonna like blend in. I didn't realize Daisy was there. Watch, you'll see what I'm talking about. Because what I do is I'm just trying to show I'm using one camera, but I'm gonna try to show different like angles, if that makes sense. Uh, into my UDR, I needed a way to be able to tear out the pack because it is so tight. It's, it's way All right. So then I think I can show this. All right. So then I can, then I turn to the camera, right? So you can show, so I could show me walking away. And I know this is messed up, but this is literally how things sometimes are done. And I can't show myself too much because right about there, because you obviously know that on the secondary part, because the batteries and everything are already in the truck right now, I think. I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember. It's, it's way too tight of a fit. So, yeah, you can see. Now, see? Now I messed up. I think I messed up. Yeah, you can see. Maybe the not. Jaggy wire sitting right there. Camaro still sitting there. She's off doing her thing. Got the packs. Just jump in here and I'll set everything up. You gotta be careful with these GoPros. So these cars literally have been sitting in here uh, for a while. Um, I think I've had these cars in here probably, I don't know, like a week or so. I just haven't had time. And today, today is literally the day. You got next to nothing for wind. I could be out flying, but I'm going to go out and do some speed ripping instead. So, And I may actually take one of these GoPros. And I'm thinking about encasing it in foam and basically sticking it right here um, somehow. See if I can see if I can tape it or do something to keep it in place to try to get some footage. Because I think that would be uh, – I think actually it would, it would work out pretty good. All right. So I got to know where to cut it, it too. Good. So I think I'll cut it right there. So we'll see. Maybe not. That way I'm not doing too much talking. I think I'll cut it right now. Hey, what's going on? Here we go. Hey. How are you? Not bad. I broke my camera holder, so I've been having to, I had to put some zippy ties on it to hold it up here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to get the hammer out, put it back together later. No, put the hammer down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's, what else is going on? Anything good? No, not much. Just mocking up one of my projects here I've got started. Is that is that a crawler project that you're doing? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a six by six. Right, right. Now, you shared, you shared some of that stuff to the Facebook site, right? I think I did, yeah, some of it. Because I can't remember if you shared it to the Facebook or if you shared it to the group, you know, the, the, the chat group. Yeah, I think I shared some to the chat and a little bit to the Facebook group itself. Yeah, nice. I just been waiting to try to get all the parts together. I'm still waiting on a few parts. Right. They keep sending wrong stuff. Right, right. It's starting to get annoying. <laughs> sending you wrong stuff because meaning you find out it's not the stuff you intended. No, actually, or they're, the the they're not even sending the right the right length. Like oh, I ordered some bad. 55 millimeter length turnbuckles, and they sent me 70s. Where are you ordering stuff from? Where are they this messing is off up? Amazon. Oh, yeah. This is the second time they've done that. So it's like, wow. Yeah. Somebody's not paying attention. Right. Oh, no. Look at that. Chef is, oh, Chef is actually at work. <laughs> oh. God, there what's going is. on? He's in the ice chest. <laughs> <laughs> No kidding, up, man. Everybody? What is happening? You guys so I'm just editing. Just figured I'd pop on, say hello to everybody, and basically show how many times I placed my camera this morning just to make like a 10-minute clip. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's insane. 
I must have placed the camera like 30 times. Jeez. Start the truck, oh, really? shut it off, move the camera, start the truck, shut it off, move the camera. It was crazy. That's insane. But I caught me today. Nice. Me, me. Yeah. So um, honestly, uh, honestly, I'm done. I just, just uh, kind of just hanging out now for a little bit. Right. Now, do you ever get to bring any of your cuts home? Yeah, if I just ask, if I'm like, hey, can I get like a couple of ribeyes or whatever? Right, okay. I was hoping so. That's awesome. That is definitely are we, cool. Are we live on YouTube? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I turned down my music. I don't want to mess it all up. You guys want to see me, <laughs> right. in, a, in, a, you guys want to see me in a footy pajamas? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Gonna make him big solo layout. He's going solo. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Isn't that fantastic? Dude, that's a riot. That is a yeah. riot. <laughs> that is such a Come riot. On, some reason I've always pictured you like that. We've got RC Masters here. Uh, oh, you, Mitchell. Mitchell's in here. Uh, we got Shane Three. Jessica's here. Jessica. Jessica up, says hello everybody? to you. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't see chat because I'm on my cell phone. Right, right, right. Oh, never mind. I can see it. Oh, now you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see everybody. Nice. All right, well, let me let me uh, get back and clean up. I just wanted to stop in and see what's going on. And say hi to everybody, dude. That picture was classic. Facing camera. I already told everybody you've got a calendar. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> yep. What? There is a Chef Beardsley calendar out there. All right, man. There is. It's called it's called the Hillbilly, and uh, I don't know, like they're. I only made like 25 and I sold them all but one. So, right. Right. All right. Let me clean up. I'll talk to you guys later. I just want to stop everybody and chat. Right, Have a good day. We'll see you. <laughs> right, <bud. laughs> Bye, man. Oh, he's such a riot. He's such a good guy. If you guys haven't subscribed to his channel, go check him out. He, yeah, he he's, he's a ball of fun, man. He's, he's nothing. He's nothing about harming or hurting anything, anything or anybody or anyone. He's just like, he's just a good guy. So if you want to go check out his channel, Chef Beardsley, I think he's, he's, I don't know why his thing won't remove. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So anyways, so I'm just going to get back to editing, but, uh, and explain my process of editing. It would work out pretty good. So we'll see. Maybe not. Now I'm gonna figure out where my next cut is because actually it might not fit. Bye, sweetie. I love you too. All right. Well, I guess that's not gonna happen. All right. So I'm just now I'm just gonna cut into that. I think that would be. Uh, I think actually it would it would work out pretty good. All right. Well, I guess that's not gonna happen. Now see that's how it works because just because you think something's gonna work. It definitely doesn't mean that it's going to work. I wanted to have the in-car camera because it does look pretty cool. So uh, maybe I'll figure out something else. I don't know. <laughs> it's just the way it works. I've got tape and zip ties and all that stuff. Might just have to figure that out later. Now I'm going to chop it right there. And get rid of all this junk because you guys don't need to see all this crap. One of the wires. There's nothing important that yeah, I'm saying here. Be tied right there. Maybe I can jump into there. But uh, we'll just leave that like that. Nope, don't need that. And, uh, yeah, felony's ready to go. And, uh, yeah, felony. All right, so I can zoom into that. Yeah. Chop it right there, get rid of that footage. Felony's ready to go. Habal VT's ready to rip. I just got to make sure that I throw my controller in here. I can take. Now, see, I don't need that. Need a rip. Now I can get rid of all this junk. Leave this up front. 
leave this up front. The camera's angled, didn't even realize it. Got myself one of those. Got myself. He's got myself. Now, what I can do is what I've been learning recently. He's, <clears throat> see, this like uh, it's junk audio. I'll call it junk audio. So I can actually cut that, get rid of all of this footage right here. Wow, VT's ready to rip. And I can take this and now bring it to the bottom here. Cut that. Let's see. Right there. Cut that there. Bring this up here, I think. I think that's what I want. That might be wrong. The rip. Got myself. Yeah, see, that's wrong. <laughs> Oh my god. He's got myself. Now, see that doesn't work. What was I thinking here? Rip. He's got myself one of those. There we go. So I can get rid of that audio. I need a rip. Got myself one of those. Now see how that works? See how there's like a transition now? So yeah, there is no transition. What am I talking about? Bring that up there. Close that like that. Need a rip. Got myself one of. All right. Now, see, this is one of those transitions where it's it's like in. How do I explain it? It's a about VTs ready to rip. I think what I want to do is slide this over. He's ready to rip. Got myself one of. All right. Now, see how I did this transition? This is a type of transition. It's taking footage from a secondary section and sliding it over so that you have the audio bleed into the visual from the next clip. It's something that I've been trying to do because, and again, where did I learn that from? Peter McKinnon. That's why I keep telling you guys, go watch Peter McKinnon because the guy knows what he's talking about. Um, and I'm just using like this is this is me. This is RC Guy Garage trying to figure out how to take what I've seen and use what I'm learning from them and try to put it into my own videos to hopefully make things more pleasing to watch. And it's not easy. ET's ready to rip. Got my now see I don't like how that happened. He's ready to rip. Got myself one of those. Now see that? So when you see in the timeline right here, you can see that there's, you can see that there's the clip that's right here, right? So you can see that clip that's right here. That one, that one is from this secondary clip, but then overlaid with some of the audio, basically cut into it. If if like if 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 that's really kind of like making any sense, so. Can't this can't be fun for you, Mitchell? <laughs> In a rip, got myself one of those oh, Burns Omatic uh, mini torches. But then I got this, which was the pocket torch called the Mag Torch. Dude, you see that pocket torch, Mitchell? Yeah. You know how like you're at a store, you're there for one item, <laughs> only one. And then right next to it, there was like something else. And I'm like, it's kind of like when you go into a, like a knife store and you pick up like a nice <laughs> knife and you see like another nice knife next to it. And you're like walking out with both of them. So Yo. I, like, I had to walk out with the pocket one too. I was just like, oh, this thing is awesome. <laughs> I don't know, and, man. Uh, I think it's by the same company, maybe. Well, and maybe not. One's Mag Torch. This one's is burns o -Matic. And I can cut that, right? See you later. So I got like a little mini torch. So, <coughs> so, but this thing is actually pretty cool. I have to show it to you later. So I got like a little mini torch. All right. So I think I'll cut it. Or to you later. So I got like a little mini torch. 
All right, so I'll cut that there and I'll leave this one. And I'll actually delete my cut. That way it stays as one clip. So, I don't know, it's just set. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You see something cool and you see something cool and. All right, so I can cut that junk out of there. You see something cool and you just got to have it. So now can I overlay that onto there? See if that works. See if it flows. So I got like a little mini torch. All right, so that doesn't work. Little mini torch, but you know what I'm saying? All right. Like a little mini torch. You see something cool and you just got to have it. That's why the old lady don't take me shopping much. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dude. I see something cool and I got to have it. And then, Dude, yeah. every single time, every time I go shopping, like when we go grocery shopping with my wife, every <laughs> single time, because I'm the one that's always pushing the carriage, right? And she's, oh, I always follow her. It's just easier. Because I don't know yep. where to go in the store. I just follow her lead. Yep, same and, here. You know, and she's the one that's putting the stuff in the in the, the carriage. And, and she's usually a few steps ahead of me. And, of course, like, you know, you're walking up down the, the cookie aisle. And all of a sudden, <laughs> you see, like, double stuff Oreos. And then somehow the double stuff Oreos makes it into the cart. But <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really, like, I'm really sly about it. Because I don't put it on the top. I'll like take it and stuff it down in the side because if she sees it, she'll like, what do we take it out? Boy, you don't need those. Yeah, I do the same thing. Yep. Oh, oh my God. God. And then, and then I get the, I well, get the hairy I eyeball say, when we're up at the cash register paying for it all. Yes. She notices everything I'm I put the it. the one that loads the items onto the belt, <laughs> and she'll be the one that's at the thing to pay. You know what I mean? Because she'll watch like the price of items. Yeah. And it's kind of too late by the time the Oreo cookies get scanned by, you know? <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. See, that's what us guys do. We do all these little tiny things to get what we want. You know, you got like, to sneak something by, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Where are we here? Something all right. So now I think this is just a bunch of junk footage now. <laughs> Throw this in recycle. Now, throw this. Throw this. Now, what I can do, right? Now, see how I've got this? I'm going to clip that out. I'm going to make it so. Throw this. This in recycle. Now, what I can do is, as long as I don't talk. Go. I'll blade that there. All right. So what I can do now is take this clip that I just bladed, drag it up to the top, and that way I'm going to take the audio from both items and technically combine them together into one clip. So... I'm overlaying the sound and the action because I basically spoke ahead of time and I can overlay it or combine the two clips together. Now, let's see what that comes out like. Oh, sure. Throw this in recycle. See? And that made it that much shorter. Looks nice. Now, see, I'll I'll clip that. See what happens. Throw this in recycle. Looks nice. And they turn purple like that. They're passing, but still looks nice. All right, guys, come on. Ready? Go ahead. There come it on. goes. Starting to class here. Maybe. <laughs> I love my kid. She's such a good kid. Dude, you've got to be missing your son. Mitchell. Oh yeah. Yeah, I am. A he's lot. In the, he's in the and now is he off to college or military? Military. He's in the Navy. Right. 
And uh, yeah, right now I can't speak to him until he's done his first uh, 53 days. We can mail, we can uh, you know send him mail and stuff like that. But that that's right. it. You can write. He's him. not a big. He's not a big writer. We got a letter from him saying, "Hey, I'm mom alive. and dad, we're good. Made some friends. Don't know what else to say. So talk to you later." I'm nice. like, "Are you?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, you know, it's funny that you what you do is you take a, you, you put that on the refrigerator and put like yeah. a picture of him and then take a picture of it and send it to him. Thanks. You could have said a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a riot. Let's see. I think chat looks pretty good. Jason, what's going on, guy? Yeah, everybody, people are just talking amongst themselves. That works perfect. All right, let's see. All right, so. I can't wait. This thing is going to be so soon. All right, so I'll cut that there. Now we can basically, I think I want to start. Now, see, here's the crazy part. So I added in footage that was really no part of, if you get what I'm saying, I added in footage that was really no part of what I had done. And it seemed pretty, pretty seamless. So now we are outside in the truck. Now this is different. So I got to figure out where I'm going to start with this. So I think this is basically just going to show me. Now, this is basically what I'll call big black footage, uh, because now this is all about basically getting in the truck and to be quite honest with you, pretending that I'm leaving. So because I actually don't I actually don't leave because I basically came in to do this video. Which this is probably going to bleed over. I got to finish this fast. It's probably going to bleed over into my speed rip time. Which uh, right now I should be out there ripping it. But I wanted to like jump on a live and just show you like the craziness of how things can be. So I think I'll do it right about there. All right. So I'll just drag this whole clip in here and I'll just cut it. So... Cut that, get that out of there, and I'll do a fade. What I should do is do a long fade. Fade? Hey, I thought you was doing a mullet. All right, so we'll get that right there. So then I'll show switching the camera around. And then I'll, I continue walking. This is just walking to the truck. All right. So then I'm going to cut it there. And I think I, yep. Yeah, so I changed now. I placed the camera another whole time. Watch, I come over, I grab the camera, I place the camera under the truck so that you see me basically walking by the truck. So that's another camera placement. All right, and I'm going to cut it there. And then I grab the camera again, and I stopped it by accident this time. Then I placed the camera again. And I can cut it right here. Because that's me coming past the tire now. Now, why is there no volume with that one? Isn't that weird? Oh, it's because it has noise removal. That's the other thing, too, I've noticed. <clears throat> is that every once in a while, it'll do a noise removal.
Now, okay, now this is also another cut because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the door. Now, to explain this, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blade it right here, but then I'm going to scrub through and see what happens. All right, so I do actually – oh, I didn't get in the truck. All right, so what I may do is show basically the foot going in. So I'll chop that there because we don't need this footage because that's me opening up the door. But then what I'll do is I'll scrub to this video, which basically shows me opening up the door. See what I'm saying? This is crazy. All right, so I'll take that and I'll drag this into the timeline. All right, so I gotta, I gotta adjust that. All right, I still gotta adjust it. All right, so I've got to – so this has a certain amount of noise or loudness, which i got to get rid of. So now I can – all right, so so these are all – this is all with one camera doing this. Door open. The door is still opening. i got to just slide this forward a little bit more. Now, I can come back into this. Now, I actually don't want that part. I just wanted me getting in the truck. Because now what I'll do is, so I'm in. Right about there. And then I basically can clip to this. I think to show my foot coming in like that. And then I think the whole rest of this might be just junk. I can't remember. Okay, so it's actually not. So now I moved myself in the truck, okay? See so what happened is now I put the camera actually inside the truck All right, see? Boom. Right there. So I can cut that. Now, see, that foot one might not be necessary. That foot one is too short of a clip. Now, I can shorten that clip because that's a little bit too much. Now, what I'll do is you can see I'm just about ready to crank it, right? So I'll cut it there. I want to make sure that the volume is all right on this. So I'm going to cut the footage there. Just making sure. Yeah, so you guys are all good. <laughs> Got to just bump into the chat real quick every once in a while, Mitchell, just so I can make sure nobody's trying to talk to us. All right. So now you can see I'm just about ready to start the truck, right? So this is where I I did a fake start, right? And I took the camera and I threw it outside. And what I may do, all right, so here's the door close. All right, so I got a door close here. So that might be a section that I could add in. So you can see my foot, right? So I can blade that and basically get rid of all this junk that's right here, maybe. All right, so I might keep that. So I can take this section of the clip right there. 
drag that up and over, put that into the part right here. That might work. See? All right. I think I'll cut that there. See if there's anything else to add in there. Now, see, that's where I want to switch over to the outside of the truck starting. All right. So you see now I've got the first initial um, it, uh, the first initial touch with the starter. So now the starter basically just engaged the flywheel, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to jump over to this footage and right as soon as you hear that same that same sound, I want to, I think, cut that clip right here and I want to overlay that possibly half of it I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to cut it right there. I'm going to overlay it. Widen it out so I can see what's going on. Because I want to basically match. Because I think this was also a fake start. All right. So now I can stop there. Okay. So now... The rotation of the engine, I was able to actually match the two because obviously my starter, based upon the compression of all eight cylinders, the starter has a uh, – the power balance on my pistons is actually flat across the board on my motor. I, I, how do I know that? I've It's because I work on my truck. So I know that just about every single time I start my truck, I know how many revolutions that it takes in order for my diesel truck to start. So I was able to match and overlay those clips and it sounds seamless. Listen, see that? Perfect. And I might even be able to maybe get the, um, all right, so now what I can do is on this one is where I'll detach the audio and I'll stretch out the audio to where it was originally. Okay, watch. Now, I could also throw in a cross dissolve on here. Get rid of that one. Now, I don't know if I like that transition. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, so now I have another section of this where I believe I switched the camera now to the back and I did the actual startup. So that means I can literally get rid of all of, well, not all of that, but so that's no good. Don't need that. Don't need any of this. So this is where I place the camera behind. Now, this was a long start. The reason why this was a long start was because I had keyed on, keyed off too many fake start times, which kind of screwed the truck up a little bit. But I know I can cut that there, get rid of all of that footage, take this now, drag this potentially over here on top, and we'll see what happens. Now, it's a little off. You can see that I'll have to line that footage up with that. That should be pretty close. Now I can drag this off to potentially where the truck starts. Right there. See that? Now that was literally three, se three? Is that three separate camera plates? Yeah. 
So that is technically three separate camera play placements, one inside the truck, fake start, one outside the truck, fake start, meaning I actually key off. If I let one of these play out, I key off each time right before the truck starts so that I know that I would get that correct overlap, if that makes any sense. And it seems like it seems like it works. Nice. Now I think I can switch to in car. Because I don't think I have, do I have outside? I might want inside car. So what I can do is I can make that clip silent. Now that basically just shows me inside the truck. All right, it shows inside the truck, but it shows the truck being off. Now, if I detach the audio, I can still use the outside audio while having a blend of the inside audio. Now, why would I want to show that? I actually don't think I would. So it was just something to visually see. That's why I'm saying, man, this takes forever. So now I think that's good. I think what I'll do is I'll just basically cut it there. Just for now, just a rough cut. And I don't believe I need any more of this rear camera. Well, actually, I do. Because what I end up doing. All right, so I don't need any of that. So all this is junk. And that's bladed. So get rid of all that. Slide this into place. Now, what I end up doing is I end up, because this is a separate, man, this is where it gets all confusing. <laughs> There's probably a way easy way to do this, too. All right. So now I know that I want to blade it there. Basically, Maybe get rid of that footage. I don't know. Because that's there. That's all of this. The truck, you see the truck backing out. All right. So now, and this is where it's messed up because I'll have to, I think I have to, because I switched to a different camera. So let's go like this. And then what I can do is maybe take this, see what happens on an overlay. All right, so I can blade that, get rid of that, slide this over here because only somebody like me would probably want to listen to a truck run or a car run. Most people could probably care less. All right, so I am going to blade that. And I want to slip in this footage just for now. So I'm going to silence this. Now I can hear the audio. Yep. Fresh air going in here. Now, going in here. All right, so you obviously know that. All right. Now you see, I messed up. Fresh air going in here. All right, so I'll, I'll stop it there. All right, so you obviously know that. Went... My tongue got tied. And that, and that happens. All right, so I'll blade it, get rid of it, and see if this footage will slip in. Semi seamlessly. All right, so you all it did. Now see how that worked out. You you try to replicate like the motion, if that makes sense to you. That's uh, it's it's weird because the way you can cut in footage doesn't always like. Sometimes it looks like you could tell it's a cut and a stutter. Where this one, it doesn't look like at least right now. It doesn't look like it was cut. All right. So you obviously see it was close. So I might be able to take in what's called flow. No, nope, flow doesn't want to work. 
See if I can do a cross dissolve. Cross dissolve might not work right. All right, so you all Yeah, see cross dissolve doesn't work right. All right, so you obviously know what we're doing. We're off. We're off to rip the felony and the Habal VT. And we'll see what kind of numbers we can get using this bad boy right here. The GNSS. <coughs> now, what I do want to do is I want to just, just to make it easy for myself, I'm actually going to blade this lower section, and I'm going to slip this footage into there. And then I think get rid of that clip. Now, what I may do is reactivate this clip, but I'll tone down the audio so you still get the sound of the truck. Fresh air going in here. All right, so you obviously know what we're doing. Yeah, see? Fresh air going in here. Now, see, I like that. Now, someone like me, I like that because what that's doing is that's giving me the sound. It's giving me the sound of the truck. It's giving me, it's giving that background noise of you can actually hear the turbo coming through. It's making its little turbo whistle. Now, I want that to stay consistent throughout the footage, but not, not drowned out my voice. But I want that extra audio from the outside that the inside camera is just not capturing. And here's the other thing too that I noticed. You can see I'm obviously driving European right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna see if I can flip that clip. There should be a way to flip that clip that way. I forget how to do that. I think it's called like mirror or something. It's not a transition. There's, there should be a way to flip that clip. That's cropping, distort, transform, scale, anchor, no. <laughs> yeah, mask. It's not rotation. I forget what it's called. There's a way to do it. I forget how to do it. So dissolves. It's not a transition, it's an effect. So basics, negative threshold, no, blur, color, presets, distortion, looks. Is it looks? Mm, nope. Mass, no. Well, it's a nitro earthquake mask. It's a uh, 3.5. Uh, dude, you're gonna you're gonna love that pulse dot. I watched your video. I hope mine starts better than yours. Dude, your pulse dot's going to rip right out in your hand. Because if it doesn't, I got a big hammer, and I'll just clear that motor right off, and I'll put an electric on it. You know what you you, you may want to do? Red Cat actually does have an electric start for that. So before you do that, that motor is actually a, it's a big block motor. That's yeah. why it had the issues, because it's a high-compression motor with a real crappy pulse dot. Even right, read the tag. Did you open it yet? Uh, no, not yet. I read yours, though, when you did it. It says, don't use gorillish strength. Dude, it's <laughs> actually that's, that's funny. Funny. don't use bearish strength. And bearish, I was like, yeah. That was what, funny. What the hell is bearish strength? You know? <laughs> and then I realized really quick what bearish strength meant. Yeah. Yeah, I'll most likely look into one of them self-starters. I don't like the pulse, though. Yes, Jessica. No, no. Three cams to film. Get no, it's one camera. I used one camera to get into my truck. Like to do all of that, it was one camera on a tripod. And that's why I'm saying there's like, when you start doing this kind of editing, you start to slowly, it almost starts to ruin movies for you. Like, are you getting there yet, Mitchell? Larry? I think Larry's gone. 
Well, what I'm trying to say is it, it actually starts to ruin it for you because um, when you watch movies, you start realizing how many times the guy potentially walked down the hallway or, and you got to think about where the camera's placed because if someone's walking to you, if they're walking away, the other camera angle, wouldn't you see the other camera in front? So that's when you start to realize it's not two cameras. That dude literally probably stopped and they moved cameras in from behind to watch him walking the other way. Oh, it's just like, it's it, it, not that it ruins movies, but I think that's why I'm saying go watch Casey Neistat's uh, video. Uh, I forget which one it is. It's it's either his. I think he's starting to do the video a day again, which is it's going to be really important because if you watch if you watch Casey Neistat right now, he is basically showing you how many times he moved the camera to get and make the video that you just watched interesting. And he also I implemented another thing he just did. I only showed my feet walking. I showed an under the truck. I showed me walking down the stairs, me walking away towards my truck. Then I showed me walking, you know, like the cameras being under my, like, you know what I mean? It's like I showed just these different angles to try to make the video like watchable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It takes a lot of work, a lot more than I thought before, when I first started. Right, uh, that's what I'm asking you. It takes you're a lot of film to get 15 minutes. Right, you're starting to realize a 10-minute video takes an hour to film. Yep, you throw away a lot of stuff. Right, <laughs> right. Although people probably don't think I throw away a lot of stuff, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably don't on mine either, but I throw away a ton. Like right. I say, I'll film an hour to get 15 minutes. So, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extend, and I'm kind of doing this the wrong way, but I'm going to extend this footage out, and I'm going to overlay on top of it. That way I can still get the same volume level, if you know what I'm saying, of the truck. So watch. Off to rip the felony and the Habal BD. And we'll see what kind of numbers we can get using this bad boy right here. Now, what I may end up doing on this, right? Because there's, there's also another thing that I don't think you can see. I did a, I'm a, and I'm noticing it. I'm actually noticing it in the, the bottom. So the bottom clip. See what I, I, all right. See how I'm doing this and I'm looking over there? It's because I actually have you guys right there. So you guys are on there so that I can use my computer to edit. You know what I mean? So you guys are over here, but then again, you guys are also right here. Dude, this gets so confusing. I'm telling me, Larry, this is so confusing. I've got my tablet to read comments because the comments uh, are too far for me to turn my head. Do you know what I mean? Dude, yeah. I've got, I've got, and then I've got my phone here to do the, the, the Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, I got it on the TV, the laptop, and the phone all at the same time. Dude, you know, something. I've got, right. Um, I got the computer going, the stream <laughs> yard going. I got you, your audio coming through the computer. I have you muted on YouTube. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> dude, it's so confusing. Oh, shucks. <laughs> but it's fun, though. This is, I, I, is. I actually... I enjoy this more than I thought I was gonna. And then I realized like this, I didn't realize because the, the it, I had the thing upside down. Are you kidding me? Did I really have that upside down? See, I had it upside down. This bad boy right here. Yep. The GNSS <laughs> data analyzer. Oh my God. And it wasn't even in focus. Data All right, now see, I've got a- How's it going, man? I gotta lessen the audio, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bite that right there. 
and I'm going to see if I can make that silent. Then I'm going to drag down the audio so that you can hear me talking because that's the other thing too is that I realize it's drowning out. Fresh air going in here. All right, so you obviously know what we're doing. We're off. We're off to rip the felony and the Haval VT. And we'll see what kind of numbers we can get using this bad boy right here. The GNSS Data Analyzer. So, yeah, this is where this video is actually going to end. So, we'll see you later. Now, see, that's kind of, well, that's kind yeah. of like a lie now. <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't, because that's where the rest of the footage like keeps going like man it's like to try yeah. to film something and then realize okay while you're talking you're like all right now i've got to place the camera outside now so i've got to stop what i'm doing or i have to do it this is nuts when you mm -hmm. see what i go through to do this so now what i'm doing is i'm backing out okay so because i kept the camera rolling and I knew I had to do that. So I back out, but then come right back in, grab the camera, put it outside, and then back out again. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Tell Dude, me. it's crazy. It's absolutely nuts what you do. Yo. Yeah, because there we go. Because now I'm showing, and I place the camera. I think I, do I place the camera twice? No, I think I only place the camera once. My right. wife screams at me constantly because I make her move around all the time. Right. <laughs> constantly, yeah. All right. Uh, so now I know I want to drag this in, I think, to there. This is where this video is actually going to end. So we'll see you later. All right. So now I realize... All right, now I think I want to blade this here, drag this down here. I don't need this anymore. Then I think I might want to overlay this on the top. Data analyzer. So, yeah, this is where this video is actually going to end. So, we'll see you later. All right, so now I need to... back out you get to see the shot of big black leaving and then i stop right okay here it is so then i stop and i literally come back so i can get the camera i just like dude i'm even confused where my footage is right now <laughs> a gnss data analyzer so this is where this video is actually going so we'll see you later. That's why I try to make up storyboards so I don't get lost in what I'm doing. Dude, storyboards won't help you on this. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> trust me, they won't. Because think about it. You may think the storyboard's going to help, but what gets confusing is knowing when and where to always place the camera. Because I basically show my truck – driving out of my driveway and then down the road but then have to cut in with the camera again showing that i'm still in truck backing out you know what i mean yeah uh, i guess so, yeah. you'll see it it's just it's absolutely nuts storyboards yeah not for me i think it all depends upon who you are somebody like me storyboards don't work Larry, it works perfect for him. I just can't do it. I have to just, I have to do it my way. You know, it just gives me something to go back to to keep my mind from going squirrel. Right. Because you know how it is. You start filming and then something else catches your eye that you're doing and you forget all about what you went out there to do and you start doing that other thing. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. All right. So <laughs> now I realize that I need to put a marker here. It was actually going to end. So, we'll see you later. <laughs> All right. So, 
All right. So I don't want that laugh. I don't want that laugh because I look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> See, the laugh looks better at covered up and me not me not showing my face. Do you know, you know what I'm saying? You get to, you get to overlay some sound <laughs> onto your own stupid looking face. You know, because that's the other thing too. You don't always look good on camera. Oh. <laughs> Where this video was actually going to end. I don't ever look good on camera. All right, so I'm going to maybe that's trim it to there. So we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like laughing at myself. Why not? You know. You can't laugh at yourself. See you later. Now that blended pretty good. That actually blended. That was actually by accident. That blended really well. And I might just drag it out just a little bit more. So what I'm doing is I've got the two, the two accelerations now lined up overlaid. But what I wanted to do is I, I wanted to get that laugh in there, but still have the reversing of the truck and as it goes into the truck leaving and yeah you can see new england killing my truck as i go into the truck leaving that audio as it goes to the outside starts to get louder if that if that makes any sense so we'll see you later <laughs> see now the truck is louder and i can leave it that way Again, you know, it's Big Black. I, I want to hear Big Black. Go right about maybe. Maybe right about there. Now I'm going to cut that clip. And what I want to see is I want to see if. Can I, so actually I want to get rid of that. Now I want to get rid of that blade. So I'm control Z and I want to go to here. I'm going to cut that clip there and slide that down. And I'm just going to scrub through and I don't need any of that. All right. So that, that's all junk. All right. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now I want to get more footage. Now this will show. This is going to, again, be multiple camera angles, except this time I think what I did is I kept the footage rolling, but I hit the pause on the actual uh, the, the device. So that way, instead of keeping the footage rolling the entire time while I positioned the camera, I was able to pause it and then place it and then unpause it and let it keep rolling. So we'll see if that actually works. That's what I try to do. Saves me on cement. To to put what to pause or yes. something else. Yeah. Jessica, you have you leave yourself markers, notes, cues in videos. Well, I think you do that so you can match your videos up from your GoPro to your other camera, right? Right. When I like when I have multiple cameras going, I actually say GoPro on because I say GoPro on so consistently. I usually can match it up and, you know, overlay the two the two audios exact and then basically delete the GoPro audio because the GoPro audio sucks. I, I can't stand GoPro audio. It's it's junk. Now, see here, you'll see me walking away to go get the truck and then what i'll do is i will make sure the audio is noise levels out of there now i'll probably do it to there because that has a good sound to it now what i'll what I may end up doing is putting a marker there and I'm going to drag out this footage and then cut it where the marker is, bring it down below so I can snag the audio 
and blend. So now I'm overlaying three lines of audio and two, well, three lines of audio. Well, you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Now that may not have blended as well as I wanted. That's not too bad. I think that's you gotta get that turbo going by. You hear that? See? You gotta get that sound right there. Dude, now if somebody has headphones on, they're gonna hear that stereo go through their ears, which that's also a cool effect. When you hear the stereo sound go through somebody's ear, you know, go through your ears. I love that when that happens. So we've got that going by. Now, I know that I stopped the truck. I got out. I grabbed the camera. <laughs> so I got out. I grabbed the camera. And I brought it. Now, that's when I did the pause. Now, now what I'm going to show is, I think, in truck. And as I'm backing up. Yes. So here's the crazy part. <laughs> Man, I can't even explain this. So I had actually gotten out of the truck to go check the mail, okay? At one point, it was where this pause was. So you see I grabbed the camera, and I put it in pause, right? See how it, it, it switches? So I'm outside. This is one clip, but I'm, out, I'm outside inside. So what happened is while I was outside, I noticed the mailman was coming. So that's where another cut comes into play that I have to slip in, like, into the, foot, into the footage. I can't even explain it. That's what's so hard about this. Jessica wants to know where you get your audio from. Most of my audio actually comes from this. So everything that you're seeing here is being recorded off of the Note 8 because the Note 8 has like five microphones or something like that. I really don't know how many microphones it has, but it's got a few microphones, so it's able to capture stereo sound. So I use this for audio. My GoPros usually, the only time that I'll use like the GoPro audio is if I happen to lose audio like from my from this. You know what I'm saying? Like when I record 4K or 60 frames per second on this, it shuts off at 10 minutes. So there'll be some times when I'm doing footage and I forget to check this camera. And what I'll do is I'll slip the audio. You know, that's why I never delete the audio. I always leave it there just silent. And that way I can cut it. And sometimes you can use what's called balance which is this little magic wand here. So this has balance color, <clears throat> match color, show color inspector. Oh, it actually doesn't show it on the... What? It actually doesn't show it on the video? All right, that's weird. Well, it's not showing it because it's a secondary window. I didn't realize that. All right, well, it shows balance color, match color, uh, color inspector. Then it also has audio enhance and then uh match audio and what i'll do is i'll try to match the audio from the phone to the gopro and what it does is it just makes the gopro sound just a little bit better tries to match it to the phone audio if that may it's all computer stuff so the computer is just incredible all right so we got the truck going by Now, I might leave that because, yeah, so I'll leave that. And then I'll switch to in, in truck. So now I've already noticed that the mailman is coming, but I play it off. And this is where, I'm sorry, just so that you know, these are the only times that I lie is when I'm trying to make the footage like 
like I, I'm like, oh, I'm like the mailman's coming. Do you know what I mean? Like, even though I was already outside the truck and I knew the mailman was coming, I had to fake it inside the truck as if I just realized the mailman was coming. So you might actually see that I act slightly differently when I fake it. So is that's a good way to explain it, right? <laughs> Dude, it's crazy because I you know me, I don't lie. So it's like, it's one of those things, I think I'll probably get caught lying real easy because uh, you could probably read it in my face. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I, that's why I also just don't bother with lying because what's the point? Yeah. All right. So now I need to make it like right here. I'll cut there. And I may have to slip stream some of the truck's audio. All right, so I may have to get rid of that so I can match it. And as I'm back, now see, I actually can match that. And at Now, I think I need to get rid of this. I think that's part of my problem. And at All right. So I realize I don't need. Let's see. How am I going to do this? I think I can take this and overlay it. Yeah. Now see how that worked? Mitchell, did you see how that worked? Yep. I was having trouble overlaying the two. I couldn't figure out in my mind how to do it. So I grabbed the clip, slid it on top. And because me taking my foot off the pedal now matches, now I can actually leave that as that slip. I yep. call it a slip in. See? Now the audio sounds right. And what I can do is also... Now I can drag that out and down that. And as I'm backing out, look what is pulling off. Dude, that was so fake. That That's <laughs> me being fake because I was already out of the truck. Like I, I had already walked to the mailbox to check the mail and I saw the mail truck coming down the road. So I had to like, Jump into my truck. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And try, try yep. to time it. Try to time it so I could get the the, the mail truck in 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 like the footage. Yep. <laughs> dude. So that's like, dude. How many times have I switched the camera already? You know. And as I'm backing out, look what is pulling off. <laughs> All right. So. I think I'll cut that because now what I do is I get out of the truck and now I've got to place the, I got to place the camera on the truck and angle it so that I get, so I can talk to the guy. So this is like a big, a big bunch of just stuff that I'm like trying to figure out the camera. And I'm trying to do this fast. And he starts to pull forward. So what I might be able to do is I can incorporate that. So I'll blade that, get rid of all this. I can now cut this here. This is probably all boring, but. And then take this and slip it down below because now that becomes my main uh, timeline. Get rid of that. As I'm backing out, look what is pulling off. <laughs> now I'm, I'm gonna just because we always talk, so it's it's funny because he know he knows I do all this YouTube stuff. So it's funny. 
So I don't know if I can uh, talk to the guy for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so I got to I got to figure out how much of this to cut out. <laughs> All right. So now what I might do <laughs> Now what I might do is cut that slip that below. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, guy, what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> all right, so I'll I'll stop it like right there. That way I can get rid of all that junk. Now look at that. The camera actually moved. Isn't that funny? So the camera inside the truck actually moved. Now, I might be able to use what's called flow. Flow may transition that. Now, see how it's like fuzzy? Flow, if you see the dots, there are dots above the, the line. What flow does is it will take two almost identical clips and try to blend them together like this so that instead of you getting that camera motion, you know, so obvious, flow should be able to make it flow, I hope, into a better looking clip because everything is still there. It's just slightly moved down. Now, if flow doesn't work, I can use what's called cross dissolve, and the cross dissolve will kind of, kind of dissolve it. But it might look a little little weird. So right now you can see it's saying, well, you got how come you can't see that? Oh yeah, you can. So it says analyzing for optical flow. So hopefully the computer is going to be able to see that that will work. And right now it's not doing it because it's still showing the two clips together. Usually the optical flow thing takes a while to think about, so I might just move on. And I, and I can always go back and see if that works. So there's a whole bunch of just junk. So he gives me the package. So I wonder if I can see if I can clip it to a section. Because like I said, you don't need to see me talking to him for like 10 minutes. So right, right about there maybe. Get rid of all that junk. I think I just messed it up. I might have I might have messed it up. Well, I'll just let the computer think. Yeah, now I'm gonna stop it right there. Because now I grab the camera again, and now I go to the back side of the truck, to the passenger side rear door, and I open up the rear door, and now I place the camera in the well, no, sorry. I was going to put the package in here, and then I decided last minute, hey, I should get me coming in the truck and just throwing the package in. So this is using one stinking camera. See, that's what kills you, the afterthought. Right. So you're all changing, changing, changing. <laughs> all right. So now I think I can get rid of all of this. Package. Now, see if I can slip the audio. Do I need audio from that? Yeah, another package. All right, so I can probably because I've got the outside of the truck. So, what if I slip that to there? Yeah, another package. And, and we got a box. They're just throwing stuff around. You know what I mean? <coughs> and, and we got a box. And I think I'll just leave it like that. All right. So now, now I've got to go get the camera back, right? So now I have to get out of the truck, 
get the camera, but I try to make it look like. See? I tried to make it right like that, I think. Oops. Right there, I'm going to blade it. Now I can get rid of that whole clip. That's out of here. Put that there. Cut that there. Slide these two clips down because then these become the main timeline, blah, thing, whatever. And then let's see. Now, see, I kind of tried to make it look like I was going to close the door. Now, it's messed up. I didn't. I, I should have done a better job of making it look like I closed the door. In a box. <laughs> All, right. All right. So I might be able to overlay again. All right. Now, just to kind of get. I'm going to switch the camera. Just to kind of get. I'm going to switch the camera. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to now just show. Um, I'm now, I guess, uh, trying to show you this was another camera change, kind of, I guess. So in that, I messed up. And I still got to figure out, am I going to be able to, because you can see now I'm in the driver's side. Now I'm back in the passenger side because I, I'm driving European again. This is what I'm talking about with how many. Here we go. So I can drag that. Oop, drag that out all the way. Drag this in here. Yeah, Pixie Set's trying to send me more junk. What, Jessica, the amount of times like I've got to like change stuff? <laughs> right now I can see just Mitchell's just like, man, <laughs> forget it. Just just press record and go. <laughs> um, Time to get, I'm going to switch the camera. So case in point right here, this is what I'm talking about with how many times, you know, I've had to like go back and forth just to get. This particular one little what five ten minute video whatever dude it's literally right now it's at seven minutes whatever ended up and how long have I been on live two hours dude I've been on live for two hours editing this only seven minutes of footage and I've <laughs> been doing it for two hours <laughs> crap I gotta get out of here I gotta go I gotta go run those cars. You know, the cars that I put in there this morning? Ended up being, it's it's crazy. And these are the two guys that I keep talking about is Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat. And those are the two guys that I've learned to, like, try. Now, this I might not even leave here because I don't know if this is. Dog coming. She doesn't know what's going on. What's the matter? All right. So. Where am I here? So I might I might actually get rid of all of this. Kind of get... I'm going to switch the camera. So case in point right here. This is what I'm talking about with how many times, you know, I've had to, like, go back and forth just to get this particular one little, what, five, ten-minute video, whatever, whatever ended up being. So I might just end that there. That way people don't complain I'm talking too much. It's it's crazy, and these are the two guys that I keep... All right, so I can actually get rid of this, kind of, but I want to have the dog in here. Camera placement, all that stuff. You got my dog coming. She doesn't know what's... Here we go. Because she got all excited because the whole time I'm doing this, she doesn't know what the heck is going on. Dad's coming in the driveway, coming out, hopping out of the truck, hopping back in. She's like, am I going? You know <laughs> She didn't know what was going on. She's like, do I get to go for a ride? It's like, nope. So I'm going to leave this clip now silent because that's just me blabbing. So now I can now go on her because I got her in here. Slip that there. Get rid of that. What's going on? What? What's going on? 
All right, so yep. now, now I don't know which way she's coming around the truck. So now I'm going to try to... Ah, there she goes. I'm going to do that. Front or back? All right, so I can go there. Blade that. Get rid of all that junk. Slip this over. Oh, that's attached. Take this and slip this over. I know what's going on. What's the matter? All right, so I can take that, bring that over like that, see if that works. She doesn't know what's going on. What's the matter? Ah, there she goes. All right, so I can just. She doesn't know what's going on. What's the matter? Ah, there she goes. Nah, I don't like that. <laughs> Well, because you realize sometimes the way you talk in a video, you don't want people to know you talk like that. <laughs> 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 do, do you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm, oh my God. it's kind of like when I talk to my wife and I actually left that part in the, the video the last time I, like my daughter brought out to me, you know, most guys have what they call a phone voice. So right now, the voice that I'm using right now is the regular voice that I like always have when I talk. When I apparently get on a phone to talk to a client or talk to somebody, some reason my voice all of a sudden gets much lower. Not like that, but you know what I mean? And my daughter called me out on it because she was laughing. She was like, after I was done with the phone conversation, she's like laughing. I'm like, what were you laughing at? She goes, because you were doing your phone voice. And like I talked to her in a higher pitch. I talked to my my wife in a higher pitch. And I think that what it's denoting is it's denoting my level of either funness, happiness, or excitement. It seems as though like um, the happier I am or in the moment, my voice is actually higher, if that makes sense. Yep. And I, I don't know why, and I've got nothing to, to hide, you know, concerning that. So I leave it in the, I'll leave it in the footage. I mean, God, if you ever listen to your voice in your mind, in your head, and in your ears, a, guy, totally dude, a guy's voice sounds so much lower than it really is. So yeah. I think when you first hear your voice for the first time, you're like, who the heck is that? That's what I sound like? You know? <laughs> Oh, shit. She doesn't know yep. what's going on. Ah, there she goes. Now, see, that audio sounds messed up. What's going on? Ah, there she goes. All right, so I should be able to blend that a little bit better. She doesn't know what's going on. Ah. Now, I think I can fade. What's going on? Ah, there she goes. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit better. Know what's going on? Ah, there she goes. <laughs> What you doing? You're all confused, huh? You're like, why do you keep like coming in and out of the driveway? I'm so confused. Uh, yeah, you're a good girl. All right. All right. Oh, all right. So, yeah, stop camera. <laughs> Talking to myself. Uh, yeah, you're a good girl. All right. All right. Yeah, you're a good girl. All right. So I can stop that there. And. I'll cut it because it sounds pretty good, and I'll drag it down. That way it slides over all that junk that I don't need. And then now, this is more camera placements because now I continue, and I'll, I'll leave this as my main because I think this is the rest of it. So basically I've got this clip, and I think just one more clip to add in. So I'll take that, and I'll drag it down the timeline. Yeah, stop. All right, so I didn't get rid of that. Ah, there she goes. <laughs> what you doing? You're all confused, huh? You're like, why do you keep like coming in and out of the driveway? I'm so confused. Uh, yeah, you're a good girl. All right, so I'll, because I start to pan the camera to inside the truck. All right. All right, so I don't need to hear my voice. <laughs> so I'll stop it there, jump into this one. So, like, even this shot right here, this is probably going to be three different camera placements. See if that works. 
Yeah, you're a good girl. So, like, even this shot right here, this is probably going to be three different camera placements just to get the shot. So this was another thing that, that um, Peter McKinnon guy, I don't know how to show you guys. The Peter McKinnon guy uh, basically showed you how to do. So I'll take this and pretend. So pretend like this is like. Wow, I really cranked this one. Either that or the salt water got to it. So pretend like obviously this is this is my Note 8 or whatever, right? So one of the things that he talks about, Peter McKinnon talks about, and the same thing Casey Neistat, is they talk about using your own transitions. And that's what you see that I do is that a lot of times you'll hear me flip the, the tripod thing that I hold. And how you know that is it makes like this um, click noise. So as I turn it, the three tripod arms have a tendency to hit each other as I spin it because I spin it in my hand. And what I try to do is remember which way I spun the camera to do the exact, is it the exact opposite or no? When you spin the camera, when the camera comes back to you, so say the camera's going this way. If you're going to spin your camera this way and you want it to come to you, you need to remember that when you bring that camera to you, if you cut the footage, that the next time you bring the camera to you, you want to make sure you're at that halfway point and spin it so that you get that you get that look as if you know you it was seamless. So like like say I was let's just say I was outside, right? If I was outside and I had it going this way, and I wanted to jump into the truck, but have that transition, you know, this transition, I would make sure that when I was in the truck already, that I would then take the camera, hit record, and then spin it that same way so that you get that, you get that transition flow. So instead of using software, you can just use this. It, it, and I use that all the time. I very rarely will do... Um, a transition that's used by the computer other than using like that optical flow and the, the, the fades and stuff like that. That's all different. I try to use like uh, the same thing. Like if you, like let's just say you're filming, right? A couple of times you've seen what I do is I bring the camera forward and it actually hits the camera. And what you need to remember is now when you set up for your secondary shot, you basically want to do the opposite. You put the camera right to the lens and pull away you know what I mean? To to continue the shot, like those those fades that you can do without using the without using the camera. That makes sense. <laughs> Placements just to get the shot. All right. So I think this might be a whole bunch of talking again. And yeah, just truck. So let's see. Do I really need uh, to talk anymore? Yeah, you're good, you know. So, like, even this shot right here, this is probably going to be three different camera placements just to get the shot. So now I'm just going to end it there because you don't need to hear me talking anymore. Because I basically, and I have a tendency sometimes to do that. And all this talking means absolutely nothing. Try it out. Try it out. Try using one kit. So that uh, this I actually do want people to do because I want people to try this because it's it's. I don't know. It's fun. So now what I do is I switch. So now I'm going to show you I'm putting the truck in reverse. Okay. So I'll go like that. I'll take this and I'll drag it down the bottom and I'll mute it. That way I know the footage is still there. It's been just to get the shot. All right, so now I'm in reverse. Do I actually back up? Okay, so you can see in this one, I put the truck in reverse like I'm going to go backwards. And I start to actually give it gas, but then I let off on my foot right there. And I'm going, I'm going up. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually blade it right there. Now you can see what I'm doing is because now I, what I want to do is I want to catch the truck from the outside actually backing up. 
So you can see, I put it back into back in the pack, grab it, and uh, right now I'm outside. I thought I was actually going to put it on this side of the of the fence right here, but then I realized that I wanted to get a longer shot of the truck coming out. So I placed it down on the grass here. I didn't even realize my vehicle passed. Isn't that funny? All right. So what I can do is now cut that, get rid of all this junk footage right here. And what I do is I'll, I'll move it out of the way just to see if it's anything that has any, you know, value. Nothing else is attached to it. And then I can just dump it, get rid of. So that was like minutes of footage that I just like just junked out. So now what I want to do is I do want to marker that and I want to slide over the footage. I want to blade it and I want to bring it underneath for audio and I'm going to fade it so that it fades into going to the outside. Hopefully. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Nope. All right. So I can tell it already didn't work. So I need to make it a little bit shorter. No, nope, that's no good. Too loud. And that's too loud too. So yeah, see, I don't like that. It's not transitioning right. So I think I might have to X that out and maybe do this. For the drive shaft. Put that down there. That didn't sound too bad. Probably could sound a little bit better if I did the volume a little bit lower. But then I also have to remember I want to minimize that a little bit. Ah, see, that's junk. <laughs> see, it doesn't always work. Yeah, see, I'm not liking that now. It's it's there's a weird there's a weirdness to it that's happening. It's almost as if it's like it didn't slip right. Maybe if I go to here, blade that, get rid of that, slide that underneath, maybe that'll work. Shorten this up a little bit. Tone it down to about negative five or seven, whatever works. Do a fade. That actually seemed like it a little bit better. It's still doing a weirdness. The cut is weird for some reason. Maybe it's because the audio doesn't match. If I do that. Drive should have showed up. All right, so I'm going to do that. And my motor, my motor fan. I didn't know I had to build it, though. You got to build a fan? Yeah, it's a V8 motor and has a fan built into the air cleaner. Oh, right. Let me, let me blow that up. Where you can set on the front load motor I just – I'm putting on this, and that way I can have the – that way I can have the engine sticking out of the, the hood of the Ford cab. Right. Then, yeah. Nice. I didn't know I could build it, though. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's okay. Hey, that could actually be a video in itself. Yeah, I kind of could, yeah. Nice. And through the hood of this. Nice. About time. That's awesome, man. And two sets of drive shafts showed up. So I'm about got everything I need for the build. 
So when are you going to do the unbox of that box behind your head? Um, I was thinking about doing it tonight. Nice. Meaning we're going to see the video tonight, or are you going to do the unboxing? I'll probably do an unboxing tonight, and then uh, if the weather's okay tomorrow, I'll do a break-in video. Nice. Of me breaking in the motor and then breaking the truck, most likely. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you right now, you're going to get so pissed off at that pulse dot. I, guarantee, I, I, guarantee, I was getting pissed off watching you try to start yours, tell you the truth. So, dude, yeah. I guarantee, I know it's I guarantee gonna piss me off. you're going to rip it out. You're going to tear it out. I know you will. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I just guarantee it's going to happen. Yeah, I can see it already happening, too. All right. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. This doesn't sound right. Yeah, it's not it's not sounding right. I, I, see, this is one of those ones that just doesn't work. I think what I should do is just get rid of that. And then I need to somehow blend the audio. It's just not blending for me. Maybe that'll be all right. I'm just going to leave it like that because if I, I'm going to end up driving myself nuts here trying to get this all to work. You don't. But I like because you spend all this time and you, you do all that. And then when you go to download it, something happens and it won't download. Right. Well, that drives me nuts. These are four hours of uh, editing. I don't, think, I don't think I show myself in the truck anymore. Yeah, so and I literally get out again. So I literally get out of the truck. All right, so so I got to show this. So that's going to basically just go this way. Wave it to myself. All right, so what I need to do. Now I got to stop it there. Boom. This is going to be another cut. This is a this is a big cut. So this is so this clip right here. I don't know how many minutes this is, but this is a few minutes. Now see, I might show that as a separate, separate clip. might show that because it looks like I'm coming out of my driveway so let's see if I was to back out like that get to about there widen it out a little bit right about there I think and then show that section of big black just backing up slip that over so that might not work this might be when i have to fade in audio nope junk so i wonder if i can do that so if I put a marker on this one, put a marker, put a marker, oops, back it up, fade it out, cut it, drag it below, make sure it's lined up with that. All right, you're not connecting. Magnetic timeline thing got turned off for some reason. Now I can maybe toss in this audio now i think maybe can i do that yeah all right so now what what you realize that i do now I can chop that, slip this up. 
Now I drive away twice because what I realized was my first launch, because my truck was technically still cold, the truck did not want to launch right because I'm I'm a tuned truck. So Big Black is actually tuned. So what happens is because of the tune that I run, it's, it's called an extreme tune. Um, very, very early in the morning, the tune knows not to push the truck. Now, how do I know this? Because this happens every single time on anywhere about 50 degrees on down, my truck needs to idle and get to a certain temp. So this is all the stuff like that gets cut and paused because I needed to let my truck get up to a certain idle so that I could get a better launch. And that's another part that you didn't know that while you'll see it in the video, it looks like I basically just start the truck up and take off and go. It, that's not how it happened. I actually had to cut and stop the camera, let the truck idle, get it up to temp. And then I was able to back up and come. It's just like, see, I take off <laughs> and then we'll come back a bunch of idling. I come back and let's see if I can get the launch. Yeah, I can. So right there, I'll blade it right there. So all this junk gets cut out and hopefully I can seamlessly let this come in. Nope. So I've got to... All right, so I may be able to overlay some sound, maybe there, bring that below. <laughs> ah, my neighbors love me. <laughs> black smoke and big black leaving black lines everywhere because... Black lines matter. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Dude, you see all the black lines that are in my driveway? Oh, yeah. And that's it. And that's. I think that's basically where I then come back. I reverse it <laughs> to come back and get the camera. <laughs> uh, and then I, I, think I, I think I talk some more or something. I don't remember. Come back into the driveway. Yep, that's it. I come and grab the camera, and that's it. And then what I can do is make it look like I can actually have the outside audio. Ah, oh, it just sounds so good. Now, I think I can now activate these. Easy, and these are the two guys that I keep talking about is Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat. And those are the two guys that I've learned to like try to RC Guy Garage hack it way of creating content for the channel. And it can be fun. And All right, let's see. What I think I'll do is now what I can do is I can talk. And I might just bump up the audio of the truck leaving. It's... And do I want to do it like that? It's, it's crazy. And these are the... Yeah, see, that actually works out pretty good. Now I can blade that, bump up this audio... Then I can use one of those. Do I cross dissolve it? See if that works. It's it's crazy. And these are the two guys that I keep talking about is Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat. And those are the two guys that I've learned to like. Now, see, I actually want to have that audio in the background because that's the truck. It, now, what I may do on this one is because the camera was static, right? So once the truck gets to this point right here, okay? 
you can see the exhaust. I'm going to try to use what's called the Ken Burns effect. So I'm going to highlight that clip, go over to transform, go to crop, go to Ken Burns. What Ken Burns is, is it kind of does like a, a follow. So what I can do is try to make it look like the camera moved. Let's see if that works. It might be too much. It's, it's something like that, but then you got to get rid of the transition because the transition always messes it up. It's, it's crazy. So I'd like to have a transition. Maybe I'll try a fade right there. Cross dissolve. It's, it's crazy. And And these are the two guys that I keep talking about is Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat. And those are the two guys that I've learned to, like, try to RC Guy Garage hack it way of creating content for the channel. And it can be fun. So here, what I'm going to do. Guys that I've learned. So now I can see in the bottom timeline, I'm going to move my whatever this thing is called right here timeline mover thing fade that out and i basically i can see big black coming back in and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do i want to cut the clip i think i want to cut this clip i'll reactivate this one like try and I'll throw a cross dissolve on that. I've learned. Now I've got a deep. This is where I also have to detach the audio. And then activate the audio. Of creating content for the channel. And it can be fun. And always what you see in your mind doesn't necessarily happen. Now that's a little too loud. Probably for some people. But. I like hearing Big Black in the background. So what I'll do is I'll just fade out this audio. RC Guy Garage hack it way of creating content for the channel. And it's See, that's the other thing. You don't need to be looking down my throat when I'm talking. So maybe I will fade in the truck there. So I could always cut it there, blade it, and then do RC of creating con. We'll blade it there. Oops, wrong blade. Blade that. Detach the audio. Black that out. Put a cross dissolve on that and this see if that works to rc guy garage hack it way of creating content for the channel and it can be fun and always what you see in your mind of now the volume is way too high and it can be fun and Oh, I messed up the wrong audio. All right, maybe I'll bring that all the way over. And it can be fun. And always what you see in your mind doesn't necessarily happen. Um, Almost seems like I need to punch up this audio just a little bit. What I'll do is I will just see if I can slide that a little bit content for the channel and it can be fun and always what you see in your mind doesn't necessarily happen uh but for those guys like if you see one of casey nice latest videos happen uh but for those guys like
and then I can blade that, activate the clip, so I'm back. Seen one of Casey Neistat's latest videos. Go check. Now, uh, what I think I'll do. Happen, uh, but for those guys, like if you see one of Casey Neistat's latest videos, go check it. Out. Let's see. Do that. And always, what you see in your mind doesn't necessarily happen. Uh, but for those guys, like if you see one of Casey Neistat's latest. Ah, oh, I keep messing up. What am I doing? I keep moving the wrong audio. <laughs> supposed to be moving that. Guys, like if you see one of Casey Neistat's latest videos, go check it out. <coughs> Think about how many shots and times that he had to like go to one's area, set up a camera. And what I should do here is probably what I'll do now is I will go back into all the like footage that I had just done. And I'll pick and choose all the times that I literally, because now I'm talking about it. I'm talking about how I learned from a couple of other people all these times that I'm switching and changing and moving the camera here and moving it there. So what I might do is show a bunch of clips of the constant camera changes and movements. So it's just, you know, trying to, like I said, just trying to make, trying to make, this is more like a, a, a I don't know what kind of video this is, but it's basically, it was showing you guys that I was trying to get out there, trying to just show what some people go through on footage. It might not be anything that's watchable. I don't know, but I just trying to just figure it out, you know? So those guys, like if you see one of Casey Neistat's latest videos, go check it out. Think about how many shots. So that means I would need to, just go into most of this stuff and basically just show grabbing the camera and placing it so i could put that there like if you see one of casey neistat's latest videos go check it out think about how many shots and times that he had to like and then i can show this one i'm now grabbing this placing it under the truck Check it out. Think about how many. Now, see so what I need to do is see how it's creating that black line underneath. The reason why it's doing that is because I need to take this and slip this down to here. And then take all this junk, slide this back over to here, get rid of that. Check it out. Think about how many shots and times that he had to like go to one's area, set up a camera, go back to the original. A camera, go back to the original area. Shots and times that he had to like go to one's area, set up a camera, go back to the original area, just drive by with his bicycle, and then like. That's what I should do is show when i say drive by with his bicycle just drive by so what i should do is just show a clip of the truck just backing up yeah like this right here when you hear the turbo go by the stereo one that right there that'll work for me Just drop up a camera, go back to the original area, just drive by with a bicycle, and then like. Now that's the audio that's messed up, and I could turn that down so it's not overbearing. So he had to like go to. Think about how many shots and times that he had to like. Uh, I should speed that up two times to make it look fast. How many shots and times that he had to like? How many shots and times that he had to like go to one? Speed that up 
and times that he had to like go to one's area, set up a camera. And then where was that other? How did that other thing disappear? The other thing disappeared. This one. Area, set up a camera, go back to the original area. Now I can speed that up. How many shots and times that he had to like go to one's area, set up a camera, go back to the original area, just drive by with his bicycle, and then like. So I should. Either trim that I fly with his bicycle. So I should actually speed that up very slightly because this is just like a uh what are they what do they call it, Larry, when you <sighs> like this because what I'm doing is I'm just basically just uh is it summing up? So when I sum up something, you can speed up things because you're Summing it up kind of like real quick at the end. I think it's called summing it up. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So I think I'll try that. See what happens. Area, set up a camera, go back to the original area, just drive by with his bicycle. And then <laughs> that actually worked good. Speeding it up like that. Drive by with his bicycle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Minus five, because I want the audio. You want to hear the stereo. You want to hear the turbo going by. Just drive by with his bicycle, <laughs> and then, like, just drone shots. The drone shots were pretty cool, but I think that's it. Aerial shots, camera placement, all that stuff. Okay, camera placement. Shots. So camera placement, I can do one of these. One of the in. So I'll just slip that in there. Speed it up. 4x. See what happens. I fly with his bicycle. And then like just drone shots, aerial shots, camera placement, all that stuff. You got my dog coming. <laughs> camera placement all that stuff you got my dog coming oh there's no volume oh yeah got my dog coming she doesn't know what's going on what's the matter <laughs> all right so now i think i did like an end thing i think what's the matter nope into my driveway all right, so. Now, see, here's the fight. Now, see, here's the funny part. The fight. Now, see, here's the. All right, see how I did that? See, that's all the stuff that sometimes, there are some times when I have to do three times I have to say something because I don't know if it's my tongue gets in the way or what the heck is going on, but when I go to say what's in my mind, it's not coming out. But So I just keep the camera rolling, and there's been times where I've, I know I just said three times, but I swear there was one time when I probably had to redo it five times because what was coming out of my mouth, I was just getting tongue-tied with what I was trying to say, so I just kept rolling with it. And what I used to do way back in the past was I used to take all those like tongue-tied uh, blooper things and I used to throw them at the end. I haven't done that recently because i kind of i don't know i kind of got away from that but i'm gonna start doing that again just because i don't know i think it's i think it's pretty funny i don't mind laughing at myself now see here's the fight now see it all right so so i can blade that junk that going on what's the matter see here's the funny part I'm actually right back into my driveway and i'm not even ready to go that's what you need to understand that like all these you so now what i can also do is i just realized that point where i backed up i can basically show my truck coming back in show me coming around now we don't have to see my mug. Funny part. I'm actually right back into my driveway. And I'm not even ready to go. 
that's what you need to understand that like all these YouTubers go through. <coughs> all right, so I can get rid of that. Get rid of the noise. Slip it over. Go. Oh, that's what you need to understand that like all these YouTubers. Now see, I'm already stopping. To understand that like all these YouTubers. Now we need to get rid of the audio for there. Understand that like all these YouTubers go through. I haven't even left yet. Don't Blade it. Silent it. Silent these it. YouTubers go through. I haven't even left yet. Don't go through. I haven't even left yet. Don't Do I have the cause in the back? All right, so. Even left yet. Don't all right, so I think I want to cut it there, blade it there, blade that there, reactivate that. All these YouTubers go through. I haven't even left yet. Do I have the cars in the back? Yeah, did I throw the box back there? Yeah, of course I did. Reactivate that. Yes, I did. It's all a part of the game. It's all a part of creating content that's hopefully watchable. Hopefully watchable, and hopefully you guys are ready to watch me rip the Arma Felony and the Habal VT, and that'll be later today. So anyways, hopefully you watch this video tutorial from RC Guy Garage, and like I always say, I'm out, and you should get out too. All right, so I can... I'm out, and you should get out too. So what I would like to do with that is show coming around the truck... Like this, and then picking up the camera, and then boom, that's the end of it. Oh, and you should get out too. <laughs> that, that, that's literally it. I'm out of here. All right, so I don't need to have that. Oops, messed up. <laughs> that, that, that's literally it. All right, so, and then that's basically it. That is it. It literally, for a video that is 10 minutes long, which is basically what this turns out to be, 10 minutes and two, three seconds long, it just took me three and a half hours to make. And yes, did I get on a thing about the new XLX from Castle Creations coming out? Yeah, because it's the XLX too. So Innovation RC's got one, obviously Roz Schiffen, Shrift Trifon, whatever the guy's name is, has one. I'm telling you right now, they literally should have sent one to Earl. I mean, granted, what they're probably thinking is that maybe his channel's not big enough, but his talent and his know-how is. He's always talking about the castle, like ESCs, especially with between the XLXs and the uh, Monster Mamba 8X that he, you know, is always using now. Um, you know, is that primarily the only ESC he uses? No, that's, that's not the primary ESC I'm sure that anybody uses. I mean, I use Hobbywing, I use Spectrum, and I use, obviously, Castle myself. But sometimes these companies should, like, take the chance and give it to – I mean, if you're already going to be giving stuff out, give it to one of these guys, too, because you'd be surprised at – the draw that you would end up getting, I feel. So I don't know. Whatever. So that that's it. I, I got to figure out how to end this. Um, I'll probably end it with, I don't know. How will I end this? I'll probably go into the nut or, see, I got beach ripping right here. There's some good beach ripping stuff here, man. I got some, between my wife and I, we got some good stuff. I can't wait to put this together. It's going to be tough. It is definitely going to be tough to put this footage together. Head mount, no, rear. So this side footage is actually pretty cool. It was actually very tough to get this side footage because we both had to drive like side by side.
<laughs> and then I turn around and you get the ocean on the other side. Zoom, gone. <laughs> Go into the nut here, see what I've got for an ending. Usually what I do is I'll grab one of these clips, like this one, the last one that I just did. I'll probably just grab this one and use this one as an ending. Obviously use that. I'll grab, zoom in. I think that's going to be good. Zoom into it more. What is that? Okay. So then I basically just copy it, jump out and go to, I'm just calling it the leave. And what I will do is put it here, paste it, and then I'll do that overlay thing. So I can do is I can actually uh, blade it, detach audio, and then I think I'll bring that over. Oops, bring that to there, and then I can get rid of this, and maybe that'll work. Yeah, that didn't really work all that great, but maybe I can just up it. All right, so what is this footage? What the heck did, what, what did I do? I just messed something up? No. Get rid of that. No, what did I do? I messed something up now. See, now I messed up. It's like me. I don't know. I did, I did something. Messed up. I say that constantly. Oh, no, what did I do? <laughs> like, seriously, what did I do to make it, make it so I just messed up the footage? Oh, God. I don't even know what I did. I did something and messed it up. It was when I added in that stuff somehow. And you should get out too. <laughs> that, that, that's literally it. All right. So I think. All right. Yeah. I don't even know how to end this. So I guess I can blade it, detach the audio, blank it out. That works. Small, and you should get out too. <laughs> that, that's literally it. I'm out of here. And then I'll do the paste of the truck. Doing its typical burnout. You get out too. <laughs> that, that, that's literally it. I'm out of here. Gotta end it with that, you know? I actually thought about doing a new burnout. Just tip me over. All right. So now that's it. So now I just I wait like a very minimal amount of time for some transcoding. And then basically, so for a technically a 10 minute video, which will with my ending adds an extra minute um, for a 10 minute video, I end up with or an 11 minute video. I was online for three hours, right? Yeah, yeah. literally three hours, like right now. Play with your toy and slide. Take your baby outside. What is that? Is that your dog? Yeah, biting on his little baby pig yep. it plays with. <laughs> so it the time I wasn't even in the chat too. She's a riot. All right. It looks like chat was pretty good. 
nobody nobody really was talking to me, which is perfect. Yeah, no, I was keeping an eye on it. I'm on a budget. Should I get a GoPro 3, 4, or stay with phone for now? Stay with phone, Jessica. Stay with phone. Although, J.O. is trying to tell you to get that brave full uh, uh, thing. I, I, I hate to be on the GoPro train, but the GoPro 7 for me, and I've got, I've got three of them. So I think I have a good gauge at how well the GoPro works that you have to use a good quality memory card. You yes. always have to know that just like any computer or phone every once in a while, it's going to need a reset. Like you're going to have to shut it off. You have to pop the battery out. Every, every once in a great while, I will go to turn on one of my GoPros that was charging. And I go to turn it on and it won't turn on. And what I do, and this is very easy, you just pop the battery cover, pull the battery out for like, I don't know, one, two, three. Hold on for a second. Hello? Hey, babe. Yep. All right. Um, I'm not sure how many do you think, because I, I, I don't know. I don't know how many to get. And where are we going to place them? And should we group them? Do you know what I mean? And, 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 and huh? No, what were you saying? Okay. Right. Mulch and cut. Not, yeah. Nope. Probably, you know, you know, the little, you know, the little mulch island that's to the left when you're pulling in the one that's a little bit long. It's got the tree incorporated in it with the um, uh, Coreopsis and the Rosa Sharon's, you know, the baby roses. A couple. Okay. Four total? Is it groupings of two? Yes, get six. Okay. All right. Yep. Love you. No. 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 Yes. Okay. All right. Bye, honey. Thank you. Love you. All right, so I don't even know where I was or what I was talking about. That's it. That's 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 the live stream for today. And literally, so think about this. Like, instead of instead of, and I mean, it would have taken this long anyway if you think about it. So being on this live really didn't hinder the length of time i mean maybe i would have been 10 minutes less if you really think about it because i wouldn't have ta been talking about the xlx thing i actually would have been able to play the video you know and and i'd i'd kind of like hear it in the background and when something came that i was interested in i could watch it and that's usually what i'll do is even when i'm like editing i'll throw on like let's say mitchell th throws on a video right i'll have mitchell's video on here and it will be playing in the background. And when something catches my hearing or my sight, my side vision, I'll look and I'll pause what I'm doing and I'll just watch him break another RC. <laughs> <laughs> when I hear when I hear him go, oh, my God, you know, I'll know to back it up like a, a few seconds so I can watch the launch into a telephone pole or or, <laughs> or no, not again. <laughs> but, yeah, so like. You know, like when one of the guys has a video up here, I'll watch it, you know, even when I'm editing. Sometimes I do need quiet to get it done. Being on this live really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, 
it, it only added, like I said, only added maybe 10 minutes. Now, why did that, why did Jessica's uh, thing get, like she said something wrong? She didn't say, she said usually. I don't know why it does that. Venom, what's going on, guy? Um, but Jessica, to answer you, I don't know if, if you've already been talked into either not buying one or whatever. Save your money and wait and buy a seven. Don't get the eight. And there's the possibility of not getting the nine. That's why I've got three sevens. Um, I like the form factor of the seven. Matter of fact, here's the seven right here. I like the form factor of the seven. You can replace the lens. This one's cracked. So the back screen is actually cracked in two places. And that was actually when I did the, there's that word actually. That was when I had this camera inside the VT and the rocks were pelting it. So while it looked great, the throw, throw like a screen protector on front and back. I mean, I've got these replacement lenses anyway, and they'll only like 10 bucks or eight bucks or something for these replacement lenses. So that's nothing. Um, throw it in a case if you're worried. Not not the case that it comes with because that doesn't really protect anything. But just get one of those other housings and take your seven and throw it in there. I would I would recommend the seven. GoPro hasn't sent me a nine yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like the sevens. I, I'd wait if you don't have the money for it. Just wait, wait and just you know the sevens are gonna go down probably like another fifty bucks. Or something like that, and then just snag one and and just and realize that if you're trying to get into filming, like what the the Casey Neistat guy and Peter McKinnon always say, Casey Neistat says you're supposed to use the best camera you have available. So if your phone is your best camera, use it. I don't even do that, except for now I use my phones, but I had an ADD that I tried using, but it was too big. It was too big to do what I was doing. I wasn't going to take an ADD and stick it on my controller. That just wasn't going to work. It's too heavy of a camera. And it was too expensive if it ever got knocked. So um, I have used the ADD. Like, What's great about the ADD is that it's still a, it's still a valid camera. Uh, it still works. You can get them pretty cheap now. They take phenomenal photos. Um, the video is 1080 and it can run for a very extended period of time. So, I don't know. Just use your phone. If you want wide angle, get yourself a GoPro. Don't waste your time with all those $50 cameras because that's what you're paying for. Paying for a $50 camera and you won't get the reliability. You're missing something. There's a reason why these are the price they are. Just save you save your cash and get one of these. I, I'd recommend it. So, all right, that's it. I think I'm just gonna end this live. Basically, this video is ready. I feel to upload, and uh, I, I gotta wait now. See what happened. I did this video, and now basically I just ruined my whole day of going out and doing a speed run. The sun is still out. It's only quarter of four my time. So once my wife comes home, I'm gonna see what she's up to. And maybe just take a quick drive down to my speed run spot, the parking lot there, and uh, do a couple speed reps. Because that that Habao, uh, Habao, the Habao VT should be getting a couple of miles per hour extra now that that body section has been cut out. So anyways, Mitchell, thanks for coming to the live stream, man. Thank you for taking care of chat and making sure people were happy. Um I'm just gonna I'm gonna end it. That's it. It's over. I see guy garage out. So like I always say, you just just get out there and rip it. You know, you all, this, all this all this YouTube and, and and craziness, this this has been a crazy ride and I'm having a blast. And it's all thanks to you guys. I definitely appreciate it. So right in the chat, we got RC Daniel, Venom 54, Venom G54. What's going on? We got Jessica. We've got J-O, and I think that's it. Looks like that's it in chat. Yeah, nine people. Perfect. Kill, kill, kill K? I don't know what that means. 
All right, Mitchell. That was a guy's name. Right. Oops. See, I almost reported Jessica by accident. <laughs> Dude, it's what happens because for some reason, even if you don't touch the touch screen, sometimes if you're close enough, it'll register your finger. And then when you yep. go to touch the screen, it's like you did a double tap. That's what I'm realizing. Yep. <laughs> what, what? Thanks for reporting you. <laughs> I didn't. It was. It, it always comes up like, like as a joke. So, all right, I'm out of here. All right, Mitchell. Thanks, man. We'll see you later. Right. Later on. So I, like I said, I'm just gonna end this right here. My wife is gonna be home like in 20 minutes, and hopefully there'll be enough time in the day to get out and rip it. Um, I'm gonna jump out of this and just go solo screen. I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so that was just basically me showing you how long it takes me to edit a video. Now think about this one. Now this was easy. I mean, granted there was a lot of camera placements, but that's just cutting and chopping and doing whatever. Um, this may not end up being watchable. I, I have no idea, but it's just showing you that for me, Someone that doesn't do film takes me three hours to make a 10 minute video. So that's it. It's not easy, man. It's really not. So, at least for me. So, I'm just going to end this broadcast. The thing over there you can see end broadcast. Like I always say, get out and rip it. Because you should. And that's what I'm going to do. See you later.